Meanwhile, the company behind the massive Sun Cable solar farm that would link the territory to Singapore has won a crucial approval from the government in Indonesia. Indonesia has given the green light for the project's subsea cable that would pass through its territorial waters, carrying enough electricity for 15% of Singapore's energy needs. Sun Cable says the size of the farm has also been significantly scaled up from 14 gigawatts capacity to between 17 and 20. That's increased the project's cost by about $8 billion to $30 billion overall. That's reflective of the larger installed capacity of the solar and storage. It's a significant increase, uh, but uh, we've done that because that uh, enhances the returns for the project. Pending environment approvals, the company hopes to be generating power by 2026.